Good morning, Coconino. Are you ready to raise your pulse? Because we start right now. I'm Jack Stone. And I'm Rain Varney. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday break and a happy new year. Hope you guys are ready to work hard this year. Hey seniors, you got one more semester until you graduate. Keep it up, boys. Speaking of seniors, Jack, grad night will be the day of graduation. Yes, it will. If you guys wanted to make a grad night a great night, get your 2018 senior t-shirt. This shirt costs $10 and all proceeds will go to supporting grad night and making this year's event awesome. Let's have a memorable night, guys. See Miss Stalvey in room 707, 704 to get your shirt. If you guys also want to help Coquinino Native American Club, they have a goal to travel to Washington, D.C. over the summer. This amazing opportunity exposes students to opportunities that are outside home borders. The money raised will be supporting the students' travel fair. The support will mean far more than words. Every penny will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Beach volleyball is slowly approaching, girls. There will be a mandatory preseason meeting on Wednesday, January 10th at combined lunch in the library. Any girls wishing to play must attend. There will also be a softball meeting on that day during lunch in the small gym. Make sure you girls attend this meeting so spring sports can be amazing. Speaking of sports, let's go over and see what Keegan and Courtney have to say. Welcome back, Panthers. I'm Kisabel Tordova. And I'm Courtney Begay. And, and this, this is, is Panther, Panther Sports. sports. Gosh, Keegan, I haven't seen you since last year. Yeah, it's, it's great to be back. <laughs> Hope everyone enjoyed their winter break. Even though we were on break, most of our teens didn't stop the grind. So let's go back two weeks and tell you about our Panther athletes. Over the break, boys basketball played two games, taking down the Greenway Demons 52 to 42 at their home court. Then with a two day rest, they came back to play the Washington Rams here at home. And guess what? They got the dub with a score of 71 to 54. That's a way to start a winter break. Now on to this week. Our boys will be traveling down to Notre Dame Prep to take on the Saints on January 5th. Make sure to wish them luck. Courtney, why don't you tell them about girls basketball? Over the break, our girls basketball competed in a, competed in a total of six games. The Greenway Demons came to our home court, but we didn't let them down easy with a score of 53 to 21. Way to hold the court. Next, they traveled down to Washington High School and came back with a big win, 62 to 31. Man, you girls don't play around. On December 28th, we traveled down to Tucson for the Tucson Cactus Classic. It was a total of four games in the span of three days. You girls didn't stop during break, but now since our break is over, on Friday, they'll be taking on Notre Dame at home. Tip off is at 5.30. Now for boys soccer, they will be having a game here at home against Bradshaw Mountain. Come and show support for our boys and good luck guys. Come and show support for our boys, and good luck, guys. Now onto the calendar. Next week on the 9th, our basketball teams will play here at home against Flagstaff High School. Girls basketball will be starting off at 5.30, then following our game, the boys will play at 7. So I better see an amazing crowd out there Tuesday. On the same day, boys soccer will be going down to face Lee Williams, but our girls will be defending their field at 3 against Lee Williams. On Wednesday, wrestling will be having a meet here at home starting at 4 p.m. <laughs> on Thursday, Boys and girls soccer will be playing Mojave. Girls will be traveling to Mojave while boys will have a home game. To end the week, both our basketball teams will be traveling down to Bradshaw Mountain. Panthers, make sure to come to all home games to support our teams. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Good luck to all our Panther athletes. Let's, Let's keep, keep grinding. grinding. Now, now back, back to headquarters. headquarters. You know what could help our athletes? Getting a good night's sleep? Yeah, that could help, but also some yoga. Yoga works on strength, flexibility, balance, agility, endurance, core, and overall strength, among other things. So I'm guessing morning yoga is back. Yes, it is. Morning yoga will take place in the main auditorium every Tuesday and Thursday from 6.45 to 7. Everyone is welcome to come, but please come dressed to participate. Before we head out, the Coconino High School Coconuts First Robotics Competition team hosted 400 plus first robotics students in, at the 10th annual Flagstaff First LEGO League Qualifying Tournament. 33 teams from all over Northern Arizona competed, including 17 Flagstaff teams. The top teams advanced to the Arizona's First LEGO League Championship at Arizona State University on January 13th and 14th, 2018. The Hydrodynamics Challenge calls for teams of 9 to 14 year old children worldwide to research and presents their original ideas to improve the way people find, transport, use, or dispose of water. Can't wait to see what you guys create and achieve at Arizona State University. Jack, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Honestly, Rain, I'm trying to get these women out here. Gotta get built, gotta go to the gym. Let's go. Well, that's it for this week, Panthers. Now, now as always, face your fears, Panthers, are. I'm done, Rain! <laughs> Time to go to class! <laughs>